all right as you can see where there used to be a concrete you know the, the kind well look this is now empty as is that the reason is because here it is um, I don't have the water running or anything well here's basically what happened this thing weighs like 900 pounds and it was a real big pain to flip it over like this but basically the if you recall the base and the pedestal on the top both had um, the uh, pipes that ran through we had to um, slide it along the floor from here to this corner we dug a hole out here um, so that we could flip the pedestal onto its side so that this, um, the bottom was sticking out that way then we put the, or not the pedestal, the, the top, then we brought the pedestal over, flipped this thing onto the pedestal, and had to lift it and drop it on top. Um, and so that's where it sits. The post for the pedestal sticks directly into the earth right now. Um, so it's not really, I can't run it, obviously. It's not, this is not where it's going to sit. But this is pretty much how it's going to look and I actually uh, do like the way the kiddie pool um, factor came out uh, it's it's wet that's what this is is just water because uh, I was testing it earlier and uh, I like the way the kiddie pool uh, gave it some ridges in fact you could even see where it says here um, summer not sure if you can make that out summer whatever made in the USA and I'm gonna paint it with uh, since it's cement I'm gonna paint it with the same stuff that I painted my garage floor with is just just gray um, and then the rocks and then here's all the wood set up here because this is intended to go in the front yard but after the struggle to get it just to lift up here, we've decided instead of building it twice, we're just going to go ahead and wait and not build it there, but build it in the front yard. So, until then, this is what we have. Alright, so here we are at the front of the house. Um, this here is the hole. See the front? More or less, there's going to be a pergola where that little round um, knee-high wall is and then Fallon will be put in front here this is uh, probably a seven foot by seven foot square that we built or we dug here's all the sand oh I found out today I need a permit for this so you might want to check your local rules about permits anyways here is the six by six foot square now what I did is not exact obviously because you see sticks over so it's like six by maybe six and a six and a quarter um, but anyways what I did was I used those beams the four by four beam as support for all these sections here now these notches I'll get to that in a second but anyways just screwed it right in and then here's my three by three foot section now the reason for the notches is because I found out today when digging that this right here pipe runs from the front of the house to that little section of concrete there where it taps in for, well, I think that's where it runs, where it taps in for our city water and sewer. Um, so, and then this was a sprinkler system that we broke obviously we don't use them anymore um, but anyway so the reason for the notch is so that the pipe fits right through it um, but that's where we are right now on the project uh, we dug last night for a few hours we dug today for a few hours 
and here's what we have. Uh, it's, it wasn't that hard uh, to do. The problem that made it hard was this abundant supply of roots, which all of these are roots that came from this palm tree that we cut down uh, beginning or end of last year. So about four or five months ago. Um, and they're everywhere. So we had to break those up to do it and we're just using shovels to break them. Anyway, so what's gonna happen is this goes in the hole as the border. That square goes in the center um, as a platform. The metal grate goes on top or actually, sorry, the, the plastic liner goes on top of that and it sinks in and fills the area. Metal grate goes on top of that. Fountain goes in the center, the rocks go on top of that. Water gets dumped in, boom. So we're gonna put the this in and I'll let you see how that looks. All right, what we've done here, well, the tiki torches do the fact that it's getting late. So now, what time is it? 7.30-ish. Um, do that time it's almost dark is getting or it's it's about to get dark so the tiki torches are kind of a hey don't walk over here um, sign so nobody falls into our hole um, but anyways as you see what we've done was we put the box in the center filled it up with dirt um, my better half was not thrilled about the fact that I informed her or lied to her I guess about how we have to take all the dirt out and then we're putting it back in the hole but I filled that back up with dirt put it down mash it down with my size 14's sorry ladies taken um, and then put the border in um, and now also there was a gap between the edge of the border uh, and where it fit in so we filled it with dirt and then I put some dirt around this pipe to kind of support it some um, and then that's basically it. We have a, it's about 16 inches trench all the way around. That's uh, probably between, I don't know, I'd say 16 inches deep. So that's where the water will sit. Now what we're gonna have to do is tarp it uh, with the koi pond tarp and, and make it more or less look like a, a donut, if you will, an inverted donut. And uh, then we put the metal on top. Um, I guess we could we could tarp it now, but I'm tired, so I'll show you that probably tomorrow. Well, I totally forgot about filming. Um, we laid the tarp down, and right in the center, it actually hold on here conforms. If you can see that it conforms to the trench that we dug. Then we laid the two by fours, then we laid the metal, then on top of that, we laid the screening. Um, now, over here, down there, you see that is the pump. The pump cable, power cable comes here, and then through the middle, it's above the plastic, the pump pipe is above the plastic. I cut a hole in the metal, cut a hole in the screen, and it comes out here. Um, and then here's the power supply for it. So, oh, hello, zoom out. Sorry. So, that gets uh, plugged in um, later. So, as of right now, it needs the fountain, the rocks, and water. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is night shot mode. Can't really tell, but it's partially done. Oh, that flash help. But it's partially done. Uh, I'll shoot it in the morning for you. I'm able to use the car to light up the fountain. So, and with the tiki torches, just they're there to light it up. But that's basically. Obviously the top's not on it. This is the top here. We roll that top from the backyard to the front yard. And here we have it so far. Um, it's not all the way finished. It'll look better during the daytime, but this is 95% done. 
Well, here we are the next day. This is what it looks like. Um, no top on it yet. That's next. Uh, we've got to get the dirt. As you can see, there's quite a lot of dirt all around. We need to get rid of the dirt and clean it up and we'll see how it goes.